let's take a wire without a battery initially and let's try to understand what happens in this wire. This wire, because it doesn't have a battery connected to it, both its ends are at the same potential. You pick up any electron in this wire and try to observe its motion. It will be randomly moving in this wire, but it will be localized to a certain position. It will not move forward or backward. It will keep moving in that, in that region. If I take this wire and I connect it to a battery now, this battery has a positive terminal and a negative terminal. What this battery does is, it redistributes the charges in this wire in, in various directions, so that there is a net electric field established in this wire from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. So now the same electron that you saw before, pick it up again, it will be moving in this direction, yeah, like in the random direction that is, it was moving before, but it also starts moving in the forward direction. Why is it moving in the forward direction that it was not moving before? That is because an electric field was established from the positive to negative terminal. And as you know, an electron will flow in the direction, of, uh, in the direction opposite to the electric field. So how, how was the electron moving? Because you connected a battery to it. When the electron moves from this terminal to this terminal, it will move freely because it's moving against the field. The moment it comes to the battery, it has to move from positive to negative terminal. But this for an electron is not easy. It is like taking a, taking a flat space and taking a ball and put it, putting, it, putting it at a higher height, right? That's difficult. If you take a ball and drop, and it, and drop it, it goes down easily. But to put, the ball, uh, put, to put the ball from the floor to some height, you have to do work. Similarly, a battery will do work in taking this electron from the positive terminal and putting it on the negative terminal. And then once again, the electron keeps moving in the random direction and it flows. Once again, when it comes to the positive terminal, the battery uh, uh, will, will do work in put, putting the electron from the positive to negative terminal. How is the battery able to do this work? It is able to do because of the chemical reactions that are happening inside. The energy released from there is used to do this work. And the force which does this work is basically a non-conservative force. And the potential difference between the two terminals is known as the electromotive force, which is actually not a force. So this is how a battery uh, establishes an electric field keeps running an electron uh, through, the, through the wire and keeps doing this work. And uh, in turn, you can say that because electron flows from this direction to this direction, electricity will flow in the opposite direction as to drive the electron. So this is how uh, an, a, a battery establishes a current in the wire.